Well, the main thing is its takeover of the justice system. The separation of judicial and political powers is really considered essential to modern democracy. When it came to power in 2015, right away the Law and Justice Party started taking over the Constitutional Court. Then there are various other institutions, with finally the Supreme Court earlier um, this year, that through reforms in the way that they function and also reforms in terms of uh, the personnel, nomination of people very close to the ruling party, to key positions. All that has worried the European Commission very much. Poland is under um, uh, observation procedures and has been threatened with sanctions under Article 7 of the um, Lisbon Treaty. It's also had various decisions of the European Court of Justice about this, uh, these reforms go against it. There's also been the takeover of public media that's very worrying. State media in Poland is basically pro duda propaganda 100% of the time. Um, that's something that is um, also very worrying. It has to be said, though, that uh, that's not the reason why peace is popular. Peace is popular because it has presided over a period of great prosperity for Poland, largely due to the international conjecture, but for poorer Poles, also due to redistributive social policies. That may change now with a recession looming due to the coronavirus crisis. Um, and uh, so, so, so the next president may not have uh, such a rosy uh, time of it. Uh, but it has to be said, the ruling law and justice party is very popular among those who like it and very much feared and hated among uh, those who are against it and who see it as a threat to democracy. They're pinning their hopes on Rafael Traskovsky, but I think this morning they're going to be a lot less hopeful than they were last night when the exit poll results showed him with a much better score.